everyone back to our channel and today we're at Epcot for the first day of Epcot's International Flower and Garden Festival. Mm. Now we are excited like every year we are excited for to see all the beautiful wonderful topiaries mm -hmm. of course the delicious food and drinks mm. the activities the Garden Rocks Festival, yes. which is back for in for live entertainment, and we'll see everything else that's new on this festival today. All right. So come along with us. Let's see all the beautiful topiaries. Enjoy some great food on this magtastic production. And as usual, we already have our handy passport for this year. Look at how beautiful it is at Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival for 2024. Beautiful. You got Spike the Bee right there. How cute. Now the dates for this festival is actually starting a little earlier than usual. So normally it starts in March, but it started today, February 28th, and it ends on May 27th. Now inside the handy passport it's going to tell you where the topiaries and gardens are there's about 20 outdoor kitchens this year uh the garden rocks concert series festival merchandise the garden grace and let me show you a little bit inside of the book this is where all the topiaries are located as you can see right here this is the new one which we're dying to see which we actually uh see as you enter the park and there's another one uh, that it's new also, Mexico. And uh, there's uh, in front of Mission Space, you have Root. And that one's gonna be very unique as it moves. Uh, you also have the garden destinations here, all the information about them. Uh, you also have all the amazing merch, which we will be showing you today. And hopefully I'll be able to get this lounge fly here because I'm a big fan of lounge flies. The ears look actually pretty cool as well, as you can see. And if you guys are into Jersey, this Jersey looks amazing. Uh, and you can, you can scan the barcode here for the Garden Rocks concert series. So you can see who's going to be available at the concert the day that you are here. Uh, we're also going to try and see if we can get the Disney gift card which will be uh this is a unique pay as you go tool and this is going to save you a lot of money so if you're on a budget this is the best way to save and one thing that we truly love about this festival is the topiary so as you walk in epcot the main entrance you will come to see the beautiful topiary from the movie wish you'll see asha and you see valentino and you see star and it's so beautiful and magical and oh it's just so impressive it brings me tears and joy and we have here the making of the orange bird waffles here as you can see hello hello uh, she's dipping them into the uh, batter there all very colorful here really cool very neat and then they're repackaged here in the bags with the uh, thank you with the orange bird on there pretty cute and here's another beautiful topiary of Donald. And it looks like Donald got himself in some mischief or trouble again because he's got a bee right in the middle of his head. <laughs> really cute. Over here is Spike the Bee from uh, Spike's Exploration there. Look at him just chilling there in front of the tomato garden there. Right uh, right in front of Donald right over here. Yeah, Spike the Bee. And, he, and this is where, you know, they we play the... The scavenger hunt, correct? Yeah, Spike mm -hmm. the Bee scavenger hunt. Mm -hmm. um, and then you get a little reward after you find all the Spike the Bees that look like this one. And we have here the nephews of Donald, of course, Huey, Dewey, and Louie, all helping them out in the garden here, each with their own gardening tools. I love the nephews. <laughs> and as you can see right behind us here, you can see the Gardens of the Galaxy ride. And the new attraction this year for in topiaries is Groot. And the reason why is, as you can see in our video here, because the he's holding a cassette mm -hmm. and the cassette, the gears of the cassette actually move. Yeah, just and like Star Lord plays in his cassette tape, yeah. volume, volume one uh, <laughs> mixtape. So it's really cool. Yeah, and you, like the reel, the tape reel moves in conjunction. It was really, yeah, really neat. It's really neat how they do this topiaries as uh, you can see our Instagram story uh, from Disney Parks. 
they actually take a lot of time and love and passion into this beautiful topiary so I really love it. I think this is the coolest one I've ever seen so far. Especially the moving parts. Yes. My favorite so Last far. Last year was Maribel with the butterfly. Yes, but this so time is Groot. Said, this year Baby is Groot. Groot is beautiful. <laughs> so we're here at the farmer's uh, feast booth and as you know, every they have their menu changes about three times a year. Uh, this is the early bird bloom. We have here the springtime menu and then finally the summer solstice. So three times, if you're visiting the Flower and Garden three times, this, the menu changes here in this week. So at the Epcot Farmer's Feast booth, we got here the grilled street corn on the cob. It's with savory garlic spread and plant-based cheese. Mm, my gosh, this corn is really delicious. You guys know that we are big fans of sweet corn. Um, it's tradition for us to get corn here at the Flower and Garden Festival, but this year's a little bit different. So it is plant-based. So if you guys are looking for something healthy. Yeah, the cheese is plant-based. The cheese is plant-based, so it's not like regular cheese. Mm -hmm. And it's garlic. And so it's garlic got that spread garlic yeah. spread butter on it. Oh my you can God. See and nice you can and see charred. it's nice and charred. Yeah. It is so sweet and creamy, it is delicious. So definitely a five out of five. Next up we have here the veal loin. It's with the spring pea risotto. Featuring Ben's original international greens, uh, arborio rice, and red wine syrup. Mm, I like I like risotto. Paul's not a big fan of risotto, but this risotto is with green peas, so it's a little bit different. Yeah, pea risotto. Mm -hmm. um, it's really good. It's kind of creamy and cheesy. So you can see it has. Uh, let me take this little. The bean sprouts. The bean sprouts there, but you can see it has a nice light. Uh, green color to mm -hmm. it. It's nice cheese, and creamy yeah. just like it looks and the flavor is really good. It kind of tastes a little cheesy to me too. It's really good for me. Um, the actual veal is not that bad. It's actually it doesn't really taste like veal to me. So that's what kind of like wow it's different. I really liked it. Um, it's a little salty for my taste if I can say that. Yeah. Uh, maybe a little less salt would have been better for On the me. veal? On the veal, mm -hmm. but it is really It's good. not chewy at all? It's not I, too dry? I like the risotto better than the actual veal itself. And it's not too um, dry? It's not too dry because, okay. you know, veal can get dry when it's in this, this form. Um, it has a nice little charred flavor, um, but it's a little salty for me. I don't know. Maybe, you know, you tell us if you guys try it. What do you guys think? But right now, I would say this is a three out of five for me. Three out of five, guys. And for dessert, we, we went ahead and tried the strawberry rhubarb upside down cake. It's with cream, fraiche, whipped cream. Definitely you can taste the strawberries and the rhubarb cake. It's very, very natural tasting, not super sweet. That little whipped cream goes well with the rhubarb cake. You can see here, uh, the, the glaze over it with, with the strawberries. Um, and there's tons of strawberries here. You can see a big chunk yeah, of strawberries. Yeah, you can see the chunks of them there. And that yeah. whipped cream adds a little bit more sweetness to the cake itself. But like I said, it's a very subtle sweetness. Really good. Nice and moist. Uh, nice and moist looking. For me, this is a hit. I give this a four out of five. <laughs> Definitely recommend it if you like strawberry rhubarb cake with a subtle sweetness. Four out of five. Excellent. Here at the Brunch Cop booth, we have the biscuit and gravy. It's with impossible chicken fried steak and impossible sausage gravy. For being impossible, the gravy and the chicken fried steak. You guys fooled me. Disney, you fooled me. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> You know, I'm not a big, you know, vegan person or impossible person. I do like to eat my meat, and I do like the sausage, the sausage gravy. But the meat here, the chicken fried steak, it look, it has the crispiness yeah. of, a, of an actual fried steak. It looks like a steak. And the sausage gravy is nice and thick. And I think that's, you know, it seems like it, it looks like chunks of sausage, but it's not. It's impossible sausage. So all this is a vegetarian uh, or vegan plate here. And then the biscuit itself underneath, Really good and nice and airy. Mmm. I had to try it again on camera. <laughs> Delicious. Really good. For me, it looks good. For being impossible, I'll give this a four out of five. Wow. I, I, that's impossible. I gave that score. That's but a it, high score it, for being impossible. But yeah, four out of five. Definitely. I recommend stopping at the brunch cup booth and trying this out. And for dessert, we went ahead and got the fried cinnamon roll bites. 
they have uh, they come with cream cheese frosting and candied bacon Ooh. oh man this is one of those desserts that is crispy crunchy sweet it's got a little bit of bacon the frosting the, the cream, cheese, the cream frosting. cheese frosting and then the inside oh my goodness we're gonna show outside the inside baby oh uh, look at the inside guys Oh yeah, so it's like pure good. cinnamon, it's right? Cinnamon, pure yeah. cinnamon, but it's not like overpowering cinnamon. Mm -hmm. It's very light cinnamon. I would say this is a very dangerous dessert. <laughs> now we're getting into the dangerous desserts. Okay? Yeah, there you go. Um, but it's really good. I definitely give this a five out of five. Five out it of five. It is not a new item this year because this was here last year. Mm -hmm. But this is a must if you come to the brunch hat. It is definitely a must try. It is so good. If you're looking for something, a dessert that's crispy, crunchy, fried, and a little bit different, this is definitely it. So five out of five. We are now heading over to the creation shop to show you all the new merch. We're in line right now, waiting to go into the creation shop. There's a little bit of line in front of us. You can see it's always popular, the, the flower and garden merch. So hopefully we don't miss out. But we're gonna show you, like I said earlier, we're gonna show you yeah. all the new merch here for this year at the Flowering Garden. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this, guys! This little lounge fly. Look at this. Yeah, Peekaboo! Peek Peek <laughs> I see you. Yeah, this is this year's lounge fly. You see, we have the orange bird there. Uh, this bag is eighty-eight dollars. It's really cute. Look at him. Look at him coming out like that. Got the That's orange cool. bird popping out of the mm -hmm. zipper. Got a small little zipper there, and the back is really cute. It has little orange. A pattern of different little icons with regarding yeah. the orange and the orange bird really cute let's see the inside let me see a lot of paper yeah. in here paper. oh the inside has the orange bird let me see pattern right and the orange in there, there. Okay. you guys can see look at that wow really cute wow. Cool. i really like the lounge fly it's actually very bright and beautiful and you guys can see i'm a big fan mm -hmm. of the orange, orange bird, bird. 88 dollars for the bag <laughs> We have the other second bag here. It's a crossover, crossbody. We have the orange bird here. Yeah, look at how cute. It's kind of like the figment one that came out for the art and uh, the art festival. Mm -hmm. But this one's the orange bird. However, this one's not a lounge fly and it's very little. This one's a Disney Park lug. Park. Yeah, so that's maybe a new, like a new maybe brand. Maybe a new brand or not, new style for yeah, Disney. So it was the crossbody over at for the figment on the art festival. It was a it was, it was a, a lounge fly because okay. it did say lounge fly. This one's a lug. A lug. There you go. <laughs> and it's kind of cute. I mean, if you ladies that don't like to carry too much or big lounge flies, yeah. handbags or anything, this is this is perfect for you ladies. Yeah. And if you love the orange bird, it's so cute. Yeah. Just kid as you, baby. And the 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 crossbody is sixty dollars. Sixty dollars. Wow. Look at how beautiful this little plant. Lantern is. I think it's a plantern. It's so cute. Look, it has the oranges here, a full orange and a slice of orange. Look at the decoration in the front. It says Flower and Garden Festival. And what I do like that, you see the little orange bird, the little guy's popping out on the side here. And look, it's pretty deep. So you can put a nice little plant in there. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at how deep it's Plant so or whatever cute. else you want to put in yeah, there. Yeah, but it's so adorable. Oh my God, my mother would love this because she's really into uh, gardening and plants. Oh, she would love this. This is beautiful. Yeah, and that is $34.99. <laughs> oh, and we found a little little trash can, salt and pepper, and we do collect these for each festival. And this one this year is really cute with the orange birds. So you got a little orange bird right here in the front. You have the little patterns of the orange and the orange bird. And then you have the name here. Right, what does it say? Yes. Full of zest. <laughs> yeah, and this is $12.99 for the little salt paper trash cans. And look what I found. This is a little different. It's, it's like a like a orange carton of juice. Uh, I don't know if I said that correctly, it's a, but it's, it's a, like a vase. Yeah, look. a porcelain vase. Look at that. Like you can put little flowers in there or something. Oh, it's so pretty. You got the big orange bird. He's so cute. I love the orange bird. Yeah, I, love I love the, the color. He's the theming. Out. He's always, it's popping oh, colors. Look, look at the nutrition facts. Oh, yeah, that's cute. Yeah, I like it. It's like, a, orange, like an orange card. 100% zest. 100% fresh and sweet. Look at that. <laughs> that's all you, baby. <laughs> that's all me. I got to look at, look at all the healthy stuff. Wow. Oh, yeah, look at I it. love it. Look at that little orange with his face. Yeah, and this is right here. Let me double check. It's $29.99. Really unique. Really unique and different. Nice. Put a nice little orange flower, yellow flower on top. Decorate your home, your kitchen. And look at this, guys. And this is such a cute 
Christmas ornament, a little ornament for your Christmas tree. If you guys are like us, that we collect Disney ornaments or little theme park ornaments on a tree. This one is so cute. It's him popping out. It's the orange for popping a little pot. A slice of orange and then a whole orange on the side. It has like a little garden fork there. Yeah. A garden pick. So cute. I like it. And this is just $24.99. We have here the orange bird tumbler here. This tumbler is, I believe it's $34.99. Really nice. You got, big. Yeah, you got pretty big here. You got orange bird here. And it's a Tervis tumbler. Very nice. Wow, look at this shirt, this t-shirt of the orange bird. Oh, and I love the little orange flowers, citrus flowers on there, which they usually smell so good in real life. Um, and you, I like something unique about this shirt. It has a different countries on the World Showcase. Yeah, oh, wow. And you got Spaceship Earth at the bottom. Is it, and it, I love the material. Yeah, it's nice and soft. Anything nice on and the back? soft. Oh, yeah. This is right there, just the, the branding just here. Just the branding. Yep, yep. And this is this shirt is $39.99. $39.99. Look at how adorable. I love that orange melon looking color. Very pretty. And we have here the jersey. We have the orange bird, the original Florida orange bird here, as you can see here. The Spurs jersey. It's beautiful. Is, yeah, the Spurs jersey is $79.99. That is the back of it. Let me see the front of it. And baby. the front has the orange an right there. Orange. Very nice With and the subtle. flower, how cute. And then also the sleeves right here, as you can see. It has the orange, orange bird, different types of oranges here. Really like a nice. Full orange and a slice of orange. Yeah, but you know what? I like the material. Our material is yeah. this is a jersey that I would definitely buy. It's that soft kind of towel y feeling. It's mm -hmm. not that rubbery jersey in the heel that I like some of the yeah. other jerseys that have been out at Disney. This one definitely is a winner for us. Perfect. Beautiful. And wow. we have here. Another orange bird t-shirt. This is a nice plain white t-shirt with the orange bird right up front here. It says, orange, you glad you met me? Oh, yes, we are. Yes, we are. <laughs> this is shirt is $34.99. Like I said, it's a nice white shirt, but then you have the beautiful orange bird right up front. And the material is that nice, cool t-shirt, yeah. soft material, especially oh, yeah, for really Florida nice. weather. Very nice. And we have the ears of the orange bird. Now, Look this at is that. This is a lounge fly ears, which I love to get for Magnus. I think they're very quality, hard quality because of the leatherette here. These are $44.99, like I said here, and you have the orange bird right up front here. Yeah. How do you like the bow, baby? I love the bow. I like it better than last year. Last year was, everything was orange. I like the contrast between like, like the, bit, like the turquoise, turquoise, light yep. blue with the orange uh, icons and then the orange bird. And I love the little pot with the little orange bird it coming so out of cute. it. And I love that it is a lounge fly. I love the lounge fly yes. many ears because they last much longer I and they're know. easier to clean as well. Exactly. I love mm, them. They long lasting. Babe. Mm, I don't know. And I'm going to have to take this home, guys. I'm sorry, <laughs> but these are, I can't leave them. It, I'm, they're irresistible. We have here wow. the yeah we have here the orange bird juicer. Look at that. Look at that. You get the holes there. You put the orange right there. Yeah. Oh my god. It looks like it has a little sombrero. What yeah. You guys think? It looks like a little Mexican <laughs> orange bird. <laughs> this is uh, $24.99 for the juicer. It is so cute. Oh, look at the back has a logo the logo of the flower of and garden. garden. Mm -hmm. Wow. wow, it's super cute. It's really neat. I love it. We have here on the mannequin the button down orange bird shirt it's so beautiful it's 125 so it, it is pretty pricey um the brand name is uh rain bruner i think i believe it is i'll double check that on you i've never heard of that kind of material or that brand but it is beautiful mag was checking for me yeah rain and spooner i'm sorry rain and spooner. spooner so yeah really nice shirt i love the pattern and it's very spring pattern yeah, very nice summer uh, it seems very Florida. Florida, Florida, but I don't know. Very 125 cute. is a lot. Yeah, 125. <laughs> mm. To look sharp. Mm. <laughs> here we have the lantern here, but it's upside down. You hold it by the by the bottom, but then you flip it up upwards. You turn on the light on the bottom, and it projects all these little patterns onto the like onto the walls. Yeah, very cute. Really cute. This is, I believe, 34.99 for this. Mm -hmm. This is something unique. I haven't seen this before, but you have orange bird right there. <laughs> We have here the official orange bird hat for this year. It's a, is it a baseball cap with the, uh, yep, the snapback there. Mm -hmm. Very nice. I do like the color, like a tie dye. You got yeah. the orange bird right there. Kinda I like, like a, the lettering. Yeah, I like the lettering. 
And Magnus told me it was $29.99 for the hat. Mm -hmm. Very, Very nice. cute. Yeah. Now these pins here, we have here the mystery pin set. Uh, this is the Orange Bird mystery pin set. This is $29.99. These are the pins that you can get right here. Very cute. Very nice. Have here another flowering garden pin here. We have, uh, let's see here. We have the uh, Spaceship Earth. It looks like the Spaceship Earth Mad and Hatter and Alice. Yeah. Really cute. Really I like cute. this one. Like really. in a uh, topiary form. Mm -hmm. This is $17.99. We have here the Orange Bird one here. Oh, look. So beautiful. <laughs> the, the, fame, the tag on, aren't you glad to meet me? <laughs> like we said, yes, we are at Orange Bird. This one is, wow, this one's $40 for this pin. It's a big one. Wow. And then the next one we have here is, uh, it says Orange Bird. This is more like, oh, I like the font on this one. Very cute. This one is $17.99 for that one. And then finally we have here the Flower and Garden. Uh, what is it? A bouquet? What is that? Bouquet of flowers? It's like a bouquet uh, in the, min the Mickey, Mickey shape. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I see the butterfly there. Oh, and it dangles. Look at that. It's a yeah, Epcot Flower so and Garden. It's cute. very pretty. This one is $17.99. Very nice. And then also, we have the limited release Magic Band of Orange it's Bird here. It's so beautiful. Oh, look at him. Wow. This one is, I believe, we can get the pricing on here. It says Lilac, so... <laughs> I think it's normally, what, like $34, $30, $40? We'll double check for you. So we were off by $20, guys. $54.99 for the Magic Band. Wow. They're getting really expensive nowadays, Yeah, huh, but remember, this is the new Magic, Magic Band. Band it's Plus, not yeah. the, It's the Plus. It's not the original But you Magic love Band. the Orange Bird here. Limited release. Very, very cute. Very neat. We have here Orange Bird plushie. Look, Look at how cute. Yeah, he's so soft. I love how he's so soft. Uh, he is... Uh, $22.99 and look at him he's very cute Please be and then what else do you have on there baby we have this other plushie so we thought here it was just like a nice little orange here with a brand in but in the back as you can see here we have somebody popping out that wants to meet us oh my god look at that oh <laughs> look at the orange bird oh wow that that is awesome i've never seen a flesh that does that babe <laughs> he's so cute wow and you can put him right back in yeah he's just as soft as the normal plushies yeah and, he, and this one is here 22.99 also yeah really neat really neat right look at him <laughs> and we have here the apron here with the tagline again of orange you glad to meet me uh this is 34.99 for the apron very nice I do like the color. How's the material on it, baby? Material like a regular apron, but it's mm -hmm. soft. It's not soft. one of those that are like super thick or anything. Exactly. It's really cute. Really cute. So we have here the butterfly collection. This is the second line that we're seeing here. This has mini here. This is a spirit jersey. This right here. There's not a pricing on the spirit jersey, but I'm assuming it's $79.99. Just like all the other spirit jerseys. This one's really nice here. And then over here in the back, we have here, this is set yourself free and has all the all the um all the uh epcot pavilions all the different countries really nice nice guarding in hand here kind of they're kind of similar to one that magnus has right now but this is more of a white color and it has nice this one has a nice little, little ribbon um and it has a logo. flower garden and underneath here Oh, you can see the stitching going through. Yeah, it's a stitching. Yeah, but it's really cool. I this like one. I like the little bee there in the front. It's yeah, really pretty. Yeah, it looks like Spike the Bee. And this is $34.99 <laughs> for the hat. We have some here, some gardening stakes, so you can stake onto the grass there. Mm. This is $34.99. has a pattern of the butterflies. And it's in the Mickey shape. The Mickey, yep, Mickey shape. You can see the, the sticks right there. Mm -hmm. Look at this neat little tool bag here for all your gardening tools here. Uh, this one here is $19.99. Look, and it's like kind of like a cone shape, so you can put all your tools in there while you're yeah. gardening with mini in style. It's beautiful. We have another shirt here, nice and pink, $34.99 for this shirt. And it continues with the uh, butterfly pattern here. Ooh. Nothing on the back of it, no. but the material is nice and soft. It's like a little towel. And you have the, sleeve, nice. the sleeves here. Look at that. Very pretty. Very pretty. Oh. Another trash can here, <laughs> no salt and pepper shaker in. trash can. This is the butterfly one. This is, I'm assuming, is the same price, right, baby? $12.99? Yeah, $12.99, right there. Right, $12.99. And this one it's is pretty. I guess it, it's this different. This is the butterfly collection, which is nice. Have here the mug here. No, I do love I do love mini here. The she's butterflies are okay. She's always in the butterfly but collection. But I do love the mini, how she's, how she's uh, walking she's in style. She's representing. Yeah, Look at her. in style with a little dress here. <laughs> Look little, at her shoes. Little shoes there. This is $19.99 for the mug. 
really nice. We have here another, like, is, Magma says it's like a stepping stone. It's very heavy. Yeah, you put this in oh, your it's garden. It's cracked here, but they don't come cracked. But yeah, it's very heavy. You put it in your garden here. Uh, what is the price on this, babe? They're what heavy, that? too. $29.99. But so it is nice, but why is it To give very it a dirty? nice look and yeah. uh, make your garden really pretty and cute. Another butterfly collection vase. Look at Minnie again. Really Minnie. These are $29.99 for the vases. What I like about it though is neat that you see the bottom here. This is where you put the uh, the flower or the plants. Over here is, the, is where you drain the water. Oh, look at that. Look, yeah. Really cool. Oh, I like it. It's nice. Very neat, yeah. Very nice. I like the color. I like that purple color. I love how Minnie's always and representing. Minnie's there, representing look here. <laughs> we also have from the Butterfly Collection uh, these keychains. Now the pricing on here it says T. So usually uh, keychains range around like 11 to like 15, 16 dollars. But this is very nice. If very you like, pretty yeah, butterfly. Nice butterfly keychain. Here we have Spike the Bee Collection. Uh, for, this is like the annual pass collection, right, baby? Yeah, uh, he's representing, annual pass collection. He's representing annual pass uh, holder this, this year. year. Uh, we have Spike to be here. We have him. Uh, we have another Spike to be over here. The purple one is $19.99, and the smaller one is $17.99. They're really cute pins. I like Spike. He looks adorable yeah, with his little him. big nose. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> we have here the Spike to be shirt. It says spring, has sprung. Oh, but look, it's, it's yeah. knitted. Oh, look, it's so knit. I like it. Look at that. Look, the, the lettering in our hair, baby. Oh, yeah. It's, it's knitted. Knitted, yeah, exactly. Sewn in. Uh, this is $34.99 for the shirt. Really nice. There's nothing on the back of Material's it. Material is nice too. And nice and soft here. Really nice shirt. They have also the lug brand. I thought at first these are Dooney and Brooks, but no, these are the Disney Parks lugs. You have this bag here, and you have uh, a bigger bag over here. Not, not sure the pricing on here, but these are brand new, as you can see, and they look really, really nice. Now, the other line here is from Coco, as you can see here. They have the dead motif here. This is a nice blue color, nothing on the back of it. And what was the pricing on that shirt, baby? $34.99. $34.99, very nice shirt. We have another they, uh, Dave the Dead Coco. It says Los Flores, Hernan, Her, 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 Las Flores Hermosas, which is the beautiful, beautiful flowers. flowers. Very nice. I like, oh, but look at the bottom here. There's like these buttons here. Oh yeah, like little buttons on the side. They're not very pockets, unique. no, very unique. And then on the back here, you have the branding of Epcot. Flower and Garden Festival. And I like the, the material, soft and soft, cool. Nice and soft, it's yeah. Nice and clingy. That's $34.99 also. Over here we have the uh, bucket hat. It's, this bucket hat is also $34.99. Um, and it is reversible. Look at that. So, wow. So you can wear it with a pink shirt or like, with a blue shirt. I like that color more than the, yeah. than the, than the other color. I like the baby blue color the baby more, blue yeah. Color. Really cool bucket hat. Really neat. have here the tumbler. Las Flores Hermosas. Day of the Dead, this is also a Tervis. This is also $34.99. Got this cute little, kind of like a bag, a little tote bag here. Uh, this is $19.99, it's like a canvas little tote here and it has the branding on there. Magnus also has these little plates. Oh, I like the plates now. They're yeah. cute. Yeah, nice and... Uh, it's the same, yeah. but... And it's $12.99 for each of these plates, all right, baby? Yeah, very yeah, pretty and Very pink. pretty. We have here a blanket here. This is $44.99 for the blanket. Now, now the material I'm not sure of, but it's a little rough to me for a blanket. Maybe uh, it could be me, but I know it could it's, be a little softer. Could be a little softer here, but, but it is soft. But wow. it is soft. Very nice. Forty-four ninety-nine for the blanket. And we have here two of the gift cards here. Special. We have uh, Orange Bird here and Spike the Bee, and these are purchasable here at Creations. Uh, we're gonna load it up. It's a good way to be a bu budget friendly when you're on these festivals here. Yeah, you pay as you go. Pay as you go, but I like Spike the Bee, and then you have Orange Bird right here. We are here at the Odyssey building. Now they do have uh, available here is the Citrus Blossom uh, Orange Lemon Smoothie Sipper Orange Bird here. Really cute. Now he's the same one over the past couple of years, right baby? Uh, he's actually the same as last year. Last he's year. standing up. He's standing up. But guys, stay tuned at the end of the video. Most likely, we're gonna give them away to one of our Matastic family viewers. So like they do every festival here, uh, last, Last month it was Figment for the Art Festival. This this month is for the Orange Bird for the Flowering Garden, as you can see there. And they also have exclusively merch, Orange Bird merch over there, collection there, so you don't have to get any creations, you can get it right over there. Just a closer look here at the merch, which also can be found in the creation shop, but you can also get your Orange Bird uh, goodies here inside the Odyssey building. Here in the Florida Fresh booth, we have 
the grilled warm water lobster tail. And it comes with key lime butter. My goodness, guys, this lobster is so good. I usually don't like to eat lobster or seafood in a festival like this, but this is so meaty and good. And look at all that creamy butter on the lobster here. And I do love the flavor of the lobster. It was really good. And uh, with that nice creamy butter, it gives it an extra oof, how we say. Um, and it's a pretty big size lobster. It's not that little, I mean. And the price is not bad for it. I love how it's very thick and meaty lobster. And the flavor is wonderful. I give this a five out of five. Guys, I had to try the lobster, but I'm gonna be nice and uh, nice and messy for you. I'm just gonna grab and eat it by the tail here. I heard the mm. crunch. Wow, really good. Ooh. Mm. I love lobster. I had to try it, and it's super meaty. It's definitely nice magnet. This good. is a five out of five lobster tail. Excellent, magtastic. <laughs> Next up, we have the Cubanito, which is a mojo marinated pork belly ham, Swiss cheese pickles, and stone ground mustard sauce sandwich. Really good. Magnus and I, we love Cuban sandwiches, especially Magnus. Mm -hmm. Um, so we're, we're like like a connoisseur <laughs> of Cuban, cool. sandwiches. Cuban sandwich. This is really good. The meat, the cheese, the pickles there, that stone, uh, that stone mustard that they call it. Really good. It gives a good, good kick to the to the sandwich, and the, the bread is nice and toasted. Also, I was gonna say that's the hate, most important part. We, don't, we hate it if the bread's not toasted on a Cuban sandwich. If it's not toasted and flat in a little bit, yeah, it's not a Cuban. You see how big the slices of uh, pickles are in here? Mm -hmm. Really good yeah. overall. I would give this uh, Cubanito, I would say a four out of five. Definitely, yeah. uh, if you love Cuban sandwiches, you want a nice little Cubanito, you find here in the Farmer's Fresh. Oh, and before we forget- The Florida the Fresh. Florida Fresh, I'm sorry. The Florida Fresh, actually the booth is inside the Odyssey building today. Today is opening day, so the booth wasn't ready. So if you do, if you guys do come on a day where maybe, you know, maybe within the, this week, it, it might be here in the Odyssey building, not out, not, not in the booths across, was it from the Honey Bistro? I think it's uh, not across the Honey Bistro, but closer towards, closer going towards uh, Journey of Imagination. Journey of Imagination, but remember, it's here now at the Odyssey building, so you don't have to make that trip over there. And to wash down all the food, we have the, we have the uh, beverage is the Cucumber Watermelon Slushie. Uh, we has two versions. We got the non-alcoholic one, but they also serve it with gin. This is really refreshing drink. The cucumber and the watermelon flavor, mm -hmm. they mash well together. Yeah. It is really good. It's really refreshing. Um, I love the color of it, which is like a like a light watermelon color. Mm -hmm. And I love how they put the little garnish, a little piece of watermelon, watermelon which there. I do love. Mm, that looks mm -hmm. nice and fresh, right? Nice and fresh. <laughs> watermelon is one of my favorite fruits. Mm -hmm. Nice and watery good. I would give this a five out of five. It is so good and refreshing. And this is the non-alcoholic one, so I can imagine how the alcoholic one must, must taste. And that one is about $13 if you're looking for the price on the alcoholic one. Another new topiary is Miguel from Coco and his trusty dog, Dante. Really beautiful, these topiaries. I love the colors, the orange flowers underneath. Dante and also Miguel. We're in Mexico here at the Jardín de Fiestas booth. We have here the tamal de rajas. It's a plovano peppers, corn, and cheese in masa topped with plovano cream, sauce crema mexicana, pickled carrots, onions, and chives. Ooh, I don't know what to think about that tamale, but it does not taste like any good tamale that we've ever eaten. Oh no. And I love tamales. And we usually wow. love all the food here in the Me Mexican this pavilion. This is always the good food booth. The El Jardín de, Fiesta, de, la, de las Fiestas. But El Jardín de Fiestas uh, kind of disappointed us today with a tamale. It looks pretty though. It looks pretty, but the flavor is, honestly, it's too bland for me. Mmm, not like, enough seasoning? Like it's not, I don't know if it's because it's like the white corn. And remember, this is like an all vegetable uh, tamale. It has no meat in it. It's probably that too. I don't know. I mean, it's just that it, it's too bland. Like it doesn't have enough flavor. Mm -hmm. And the cream sauce on the, the top crema, and the yeah. crema, it gives it a little extra flavor to it. Mm -hmm. But it's like, it's not enough to gotcha. win me over and for me to say, wow, that was really a great tamale. So what would you rate it then? Maybe? I would say 
for this particular tamale, I give it a two out of five. Two out of five. It guys. was a. Uh, mm, mm, that it was me. not. It was not mac -tastic. It was not mac -tastic. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. You guys can try it, but. Can we say is it was bad tastic? It was bad tastic today. <laughs> Up next, we have the sope de chiorio, uh, as guajillo, pepper braised uh, pork on a fried corn shells with black beans, shredded cabbage, crema mexicana, queso fresco, and chives. This soap is not bad. I do like the fried corn shell. Um, it is a little doughy. It look, it's a very thick corn shell, if you can see here. Right here, it's pretty yeah, thick. Yeah, it's pretty thick and um, high. But the pork itself is seasoned well. Mixed with the crema, the queso fresco, and the black beans here. Um, I would give this overall, in the cabbage, I would give this overall like a three out of five. It's just like like Magda said earlier with the tamal. The food here is not hitting as it usually would be because we love the Mexican food. We love Mexican food. We have a lot of restaurant dining uh, dining reviews on Mexican restaurants, but for the flower garden, it is, it is, something's missing on here. But I would give this a three out of five. I like the pork. If you like pork and if you like you know with the crispy kind of like a taco uh, or like a. Yeah, kind of like a taco. Like a taco salad like shell. Like a taco salad shell. Try this out. But I guess it's a three out of five. And to wash it all down, Magba's got the lychee margarita. It's uh, centella blanco de quila, lychee liqueur, citrus juice, and agave nectar. Oh. Actually, not as good as I expected. Ah, uh, you see another miss. Another miss, another guys. Another miss on the margarita. The lychee was the best part of the drink. Yeah, right? it was a if big, big piece me. of lychee there. Ah. Uh, it's still like it's missing something today. Yeah. I don't know what's going on with the jardin, the fiestas, the fiestas oh, yeah. today, but it's a mess on the food and even the margarita. Mm -hmm. uh, the other margarita I had that last year, the that was pretty one? good, the yeah. floral one. Um, and I thought, okay, well, let me try the lychee one this year, but the best part of the margarita, the lychee margarita, was, was the actual lychee itself. Lychee itself. Uh, it was nice and sweet and refreshing. So what would you give it? Uh, it's not a bad drink, but it's not a five out of five for me. It's not me. a dangerous drink. Huh? And it's not a dangerous drink, unfortunately. Uh, I would say three out of five. Three out of five, guys. Just to point something out around the World Showcase, I love it how they have like planted blueberries, for example, here, like a blueberry uh, plants here. Yeah, over here you have the avocados uh, plants. You have cabbage over there. And then we have here, Lentil, look at that. Wow, that's beautiful. The lentils, look at that pomegranate, and the pomegranate right here. Beautiful, beautiful, look how beautiful. Yeah, flowers and plants here. I never thought it would look like that. Mm -hmm. Wow, you know what these flowers remind me of, babe? What your beauty. <laughs> <laughs> hey. He always gets me with that, guys. <laughs> Thank you, baby. I love you too, and I know you love me so much that so you, you see me as a beautiful flower. <laughs> the best flower. Also, what we noticed here next to the Odyssey building, you have these floating flower gardens here, which are really nice. And they're on this side. That's new because I think they were on the other side before. Uh, usually they don't put them out this far. Or this far, yeah. Uh, usually they're over by the land area. Oh, yeah. But it looks beautiful, beautiful over beautiful. here. Yeah, I love it. I wow. love it. I love it. I love how they're floating. Very majestic how they float there. And over here we have a meet and greet with Asha from the new movie of Wish. And yeah, look how beautiful she is. Yeah, this is a new spot right here. New spot, mm hmm. Uh, right across from the Odyssey building. I wish she had Valentino. Yeah. The, and uh, and Star with her, but by herself is really nice. She's yeah. really beautiful She's there. She's very beautiful. Here's a closer picture of Asha here with her guests there. Yeah, she looks really cool. Very beautiful. Really? So this year they put the family Maldigal here between uh, Canada and Mexico. You have the family here. Oh, look, he has a tucan here. I don't remember the tucan from last year. And we have Mirabel there with her dress. They added more designs to her and dress. And you can actually see the bottom of her butterfly, the actual butterfly, more clear today. More clear now, yeah. And you have Luisa on the back. Beautiful. This is one of my favorite topiaries from last year, but I'm glad they, they, uh, they came and put them here. And I like the they banana came, plants And they returned the this year. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, the big flower pot on the back. Oh, yeah, the big and flower. The big banana plants. The banana the plants. Too. Gives yeah. it that extra look. 
still one of my favorite topiaries of all time. So we have your brand new, the Pandora collection. New to this here is a set of two. We have the Orange Bird and we have the Epcot Flower and Garden. That's the That's the back, that's this the back. is the front. And this is the uh, front and the back also. So the life, second one. Life is full of zest. Yeah, and this it's gift a, set is about $165. It's $165 for two. For I two. asked this is you the can pair, buy yeah. them separate, but you have to purchase the pair. It's a pair. So it is an exclusive gift set. Yeah. And as they do every year here, the Garden Gaze menu, you get specific uh, items on the menu here. As you can see, there's a different booths here and what you need to get. And then after you get them all stamped, uh, you get the festival tree, which is a pineapple promenade. We arrive at the Honey Bistro. We are, uh, we're gonna start with the Honey Peach Cobbler Freeze with Streusel. Now we did get the, uh, the, the one with alcohol, so it comes with blueberry vodka and streusel. Woo! Ah, look at my face, guys. That's how strong that vodka is in that drink. Oh my God, it's very sweet. You can see it was melting a little bit, so it's like a shake. Yeah. Um, it does say very sweet, and you can taste the honey in there and mm -hmm. everything. The streusel, but... the streusel on the top. Yeah. And that's so I guess that blueberry vodka is really strong. Ooh, huh, or they put too much in here. Yeah. But, yeah. Wow. It is really good, but I would do the one without the vodka because <laughs> I feel like the vodka overpowers the entire drink. The peach so, cobbler, yeah, the yeah. sweetness of the peach cobbler. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's like I barely tasted the, the the peach cobbler because of the vodka. It's mm. just too strong. So what would you give it all together? I would say if it didn't have the vodka, I would probably give it a four out of five. But with the vodka, three with out of five. With the vodka, I would say a three out of five. Three out of five, guys. So, too strong. So Magnus says, not a dangerous drink. Try it without the vodka. Yeah. <laughs> the trick is Magnus was drinking the vodka all the way on the bottom. So if she, you mix it up from the top. Oh. Mm mm. This is a five out of five, babe. What do you? <laughs> You did drink it off camera again, right? If yeah. You agree with so me? I did. I do agree with him. <laughs> so do it without the straw because you do the you use the straw. You're gonna get mistaken. more of the vodka versus mm -hmm. the actual drink with the vodka all together. Yeah. So make sure you mix it and then try at the top. But yeah. for me, this is a dangerous drink. This is a five out of five. So <laughs> let's correct that, right, baby? Yeah. So Even, I would say it is a dangerous drink. It is a dangerous drink. I think six out of five with the vodka, but without <laughs> it's a five out of five. Mm. <laughs> We have here also the Honey Glazed Cauliflower. This is brand new. Uh, it's with honey roasted carrot puree, wild rice pilaf, uh, spring vegetables, honey blistered grapes, and sunfire brittle. Wow, guys. Actually, I think I found my favorite dish really? of the festival What's... today. Wow. At least for today. At least for there's today. There's a lot more that we cannot experience today, but yeah. we will. But this one so far, look at this this broccoli, guys. Look at the color of the bro of the, the cauliflower. actually cauliflower. Yeah. <laughs> and you also have these big chunks of broccoli. Broccoli, the, all the vegetables. You have there. you know even have some grapes in here. Yeah, it come, it's honey, honey blister grapes are. And then baby. this puree, the carrot the puree. Carrot puree is mm. so good. It's nice and sweet mm -hmm. and smooth texture. And I, I really like it, and it's such a colorful dish. Look at this colorful dish. Now the question: It says the, it says it has a honey glazed cauliflower. Yes. Can you taste the honey on the cauliflower? Yes, babe? I do. Yeah. It does, especially this one here. It has that. Mmm. That sweetness, mm -hmm. but it's very subtle. Okay. So it's not like overpowering the cauliflower, but. Mmm. Yeah. I can taste it. Wow, a whole vegetable dish. But, Surprising but me, maybe. This dish <laughs> is so good. I I will get another one of this. Oh, wow. I will make it my meal for the like a dinner meal. And what so did you good. rate it? What would you rate it? I would say five out of five. Five this out is, of five. This is magtastic. Wow. We're here at this World Showcase. Uh, we have here the Liquid Nitro Honey Mascarpone Cheesecake. It's with fresh honey, granulated honey, and honey mead blueberry compote. Oh my goodness, this is like heaven. Uh, it's so good guys and I love the way they make it so I filmed a little bit a little clip of how they make it they put it first in that the cheesecake it looks like ice cream kind of in, oh. that, in that ice cold nitro yeah and then they freeze it mm -hmm. and then he puts it on the plate then he kind of smushes it down like you know one yeah. of those uh, meat tenderizers yeah. so he puts it makes it flat you got the the blueberry compote on the side, mm -hmm, that's mixed and with the honey. you got the with mixed with honey, and then you got the honey on top because the they, they throw honey, the uh -huh. honey on top, and, and it is so good. It is a light dessert, but it is very sweet. So 
Um, I really enjoy it. I'm gonna give this, oh my God, it's so hard. I was gonna give it a four out of five, but you know what? Just because of the presentation and the way they, make, they make it, it. Mm -hmm. I, I'm gonna give it a five out of five. Five out of five, wow. I wanna taste it for myself. Here we go, see if we can match it. Oh yeah. Mm. You can really, really taste good. the cheesecake there. But the consistency, yeah, it's very soft and fluffy. It's kind of mm. like a whipped mousse. Really good. That's what it tastes like, like a whipped mm -hmm. cheesecake, but yeah. very light. Very light. Definitely a five out of five. Definitely agree, Magnus. <laughs> and here, I believe we found another YouTuber, Topiary, uh, Goofy. Look at him, Goofy. He's blowing the, what is it, the wisp willows? I forget what those are called. Like you blow, or dandelions, I forget what those are called. They look like cotton, cotton ball head yeah, flowers. I love those. You just blow them and they all yeah. start flying away. Wow, yeah, that's a brand new one. I didn't never seen that before. Goofy doing that that action pose, beautiful. And I've never seen any uh, topiary actually right here in this bed of flowers around the water. Exactly, brand new. It's beautiful the colors here, the flower, the flower, the color of the flowers here, babe. I'm surprised this year they added some topiary, some really unique ones, and I like that they actually added them in different locations yes. that you normally would not see yeah, them. Yeah, so they're, so they're really switching like it around. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, it has come to the end of our video. <sighs> it was a long day for us. Mm -hmm. We didn't even get to go all the way to the World Showcase today. We'll leave that for another day. So Yeah, we didn't travel to the other side of the World Showcase. We're going to leave that for another video in the future. Yeah, and, and you guys know, like we said, this festival is going to be happening from today, February 28th, all the way to May 27th. Mm -hmm. So that's like almost three months. Yeah, so we have plenty <laughs> of time. We're going to do a round two, definitely. Yeah, so we're definitely going to come back and try the foods that we didn't try today. Yep. Uh, we also wanted to do the Butterfly Garden. We have done it before. Yeah, we've done it before. Um, and it's really pretty. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I love seeing all the butterflies and their little cocoon stage. Yeah, yeah. And, oh, it's amazing. So maybe we'll do that next time as well. Mm -hmm. uh, we were able to definitely check out the new merch this year, which was really nice. I really mm -hmm. love my favorite one was definitely the orange bird, the orange bird as Mag always. Yeah. Magnus did get the orange bird lounge fly yeah. <laughs> with the, with the peekaboo, peekaboo. <laughs> and I got my ears. Yeah. The launch fires. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really nice. I like I said, I really enjoy all the merch. Even the the cocoa merch was really nice. That was mm -hmm. very bright and colorful. Oh Miguel, yeah. Um, the butterfly uh, the collection, butterfly collection, Minnie Mouse. Uh, was also nice. And it's like the bee, um, the annual and pass. And it's the bee annual pass. The t-shirts are really cute yeah. and fun as well. Yeah, but Orange Bird is definitely the best, yeah. the best of the merchandise. It yeah, was the best really line. nice. Mm -hmm. um, the food was fantastic. What was your favorite Other uh, dish? Other than maybe a few. Yeah, my well, favorite dish, I would have to say, I'm sorry, bistro. Mm, the, the bistro, the, the cauli honey the cauli cauliflower. Yeah. Oh my God. It was, was really good. Besides the dish looking so beautiful <laughs> and colorful, it tasted fantastic. And the thing is that this was a healthy dish. Mm -hmm. One of those healthy, they don't, we did notice that on the menu, there's a lot of plant-based dishes this year. Yeah, a lot of impossible dishes. And impossible dishes as well. So it's a, they're going. Disney's going a little bit healthier this mm -hmm. year uh, during the Flower and Garden Festival yeah. uh, with their foods and and some of the drinks. But let me tell you, a lot of the food, right, babe? Mm -hmm. The impossible, like that the, the biscuit, biscuit, the biscuit with the chicken uh, fried steak, impossible uh, sausage gravy. That also. was pretty good. They, they fooled me. They fooled me. You guys yeah. fooled me, Disney. Yeah, that was that was one of my favorite items. Um, and then dessert wise, for me, my favorite item was, of course, the cinnamon bites with the candy bacon, that Disney bacon, that, those bits of candy Disney bacons. Oh, it's heaven. Even though it's a, it's a, it's not a brand new item. I just had to get them. Yeah. It's always good. Um, and then what was, what was your favorite? And then the uh, liquid nitro oh, mascarpone yeah. the cheesecake, cheesecake yeah, had well, the swirled. Especially how they uh, made it, right? Isn't that cute yeah, how they made it? Yeah, I love it how, really they, how they make it mm -hmm. and how they all set it up with the nitro and it's really neat. I love to that they Disney always does these new, unique fun foods yeah. and they make you want to try it's it. It's always about the presentation with <laughs> and Disney. And the presentation always is with the presentation. Amazing. Yeah, it's always amazing. That's what with always Disney. catches our eyes, the mm -hmm. presentation. We love the presentation of the food and of course the flavor yes. backs it up. So. Exactly. <laughs> it's, it's delicious. And I did mention earlier that we are doing a giveaway. We actually give away the Orange Bird Sipper. <laughs> now he's not a brand new sipper. He did come out last year, right, baby? Yes. 
So he's but he's the one that is holding his own little sipper there. Mm -hmm. Really cute, it's beautiful, and we wanted to do a, you know a giveaway. We haven't done one in a while. Uh, give back to our Magtastic family here. And all you have to do to win this uh, beautiful orange bird is be subscribed to our channel and leave a comment and state what was your favorite part of the video. Or what was your favorite part of food of the video or the merchandise, whatever you want, but what was your favorite part of the video? Be subscribed um, and then you know just put a comment there and you can you can win this beautiful orange, but it's cutesy. Let me give him a good mwah. <laughs> All right, so you, you'll get a kiss. You'll have my kiss imprint on him too. <laughs> so make sure you comment down below for a chance to win. We're gonna uh, we're gonna give it about a month, and we're gonna give it till March the twentieth. So you can uh, have time to view the video, leave that comment, and win this beautiful cutesy orange bird zipper. And remember, you have to subscribe to our channel in order to participate and win this baby. And we want to give a big shout out to some of the new friends that we made today, and some of our content creator friends as well that we saw along the way today in mm -hmm. this festival. First of all, we're gonna say hello to Sarah. Thank Sarah. you, Sarah, for meeting you today. And say um, we're saying hello to your husband as well. We missed him today, but <laughs> I'm sure he'll he'll be here next time and hopefully we'll see him in the future. Yeah. Thank you so much for supporting our channel. Definitely. Uh, also, a big shout out to... Sunkiss Chrissy. Uh, she's also a... Uh, Content, content creator. creator she actually put her uh she filmed us and put her in her blog so if you want to see a little snippet of us check out her channel down below mm -hmm. uh shout out to daniel he is the uh the tomorrowland traveler he's the sticker of him mm -hmm. it was nice meeting you also okay and then love our blog john and angie it was nice seeing you today at the parks as usual yeah love always our, hard at work yeah, yeah love our live blog awesome awesome content check their below uh check their video their content down below their channel there and please uh, check out sam and jay from theme park foodies yeah it was always nice meeting you guys we always bump each other and you know and we, we always cross, cross paths, paths. <laughs> so please check out their channel they're great foodies like us um and check and their channel content, content creators, creators and check their links them. Check their link down below for their channel. So guys, if you enjoyed this video and found it fun, delicious, useful, in any way, remember to like, share, and subscribe. subscribe. Today was a great day. Today was a magtastic day. day. Thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you on the next Magtastic, Magtastic Productions. Productions. Bye. Bye.